Gojo is dead. Not really. But you know who's going to save us? Right here. Ryoiki Tenkai. Waku Waku. That's right. Anya from Spike's family is not going to show up because she's not part of this realm. But I thought it was funny. Yo, how is Gojo going to get back up? Because we know that he's not dead. We've seen season one. We've seen the movie. It just doesn't make sense. I have a couple theories. First is, okay, is Riku actually dead? If she is dead, it just doesn't make sense because she's a star phantom vessel or whatever. I would expect that a gunshot wouldn't be enough. But if she actually is dead, that means Tengen Sama needs another vessel. What if Gojo is the next vessel for Tengen Sama? Now, that would mean that Gojo would have to retain his own, you know, emotions, his self, and not let Tengen Sama override him, but that totally makes sense because Gojo's built different. It's gonna be one of that kind of situation. I'm just trying to guess what's gonna happen. Now, we're about to see Geto pop off. I hope Toji doesn't body him. Let's begin today's reaction. Kaido. No! Don't do this to me again. Why? <laughs> you, no! <laughs> Why you gotta fucking do a replay? Bro, where'd you get it come from? Okay. S great curses. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this is kind of reminding me of a uh, fucking what's what's his name? Uh, I oh shit, I forgot his name. But Demon Slayer, remember? He, my brother was doing American style breathing techniques. Genya, right? Because like it's she just a kaisen. I don't know. I would expect like swords, spears. You know, magic weapons, but bro, it's a fucking gun. <laughs> Where'd you get the gun? Uh, at, at, at least he shoves it up his mouth, not the other way around, you know? <laughs> That's why it kind of looks like a stomach intestine, intestine too. Ugh. Can you kill him though? This guy is built so different. We know we we've seen the previous episodes that if Ghetto you know, he can do close combat. Ooh. He can do close close combat like um fighting. But I feel like Toji's a little bit different from the old man we fought, remember? No, oh, come on. You just you can't just casually slice the fucking dragon, bro! Dude, do we have any S great curses more? Come on. This is so sick. The dragon just broke everything so we're like dropping down, but casually talking like this. Sawada do This isn't the this isn't JoJo's, what do you mean? He's not actually stopping time, right? Who? No, it's the other curse. It's the other one that he summoned. Ghetto's. I thought for a second, this is actually Dio Sawardo. Cutting. Ah? What? What? So you come to me. It takes his hair in his ear. Oh, I'm confused. But I guess he's escaped it. I need someone to explain it to me. Oh? oh, why don't we just absorb that? Yeah! We should be able to just absorb it, right? But what if he was expecting this? There's no way Toji was not expecting this. No, no, no. How? Why did it repel? Bro, new. Oh, shit! It's a six scar. I mean, at least he gave him a six scar, right? Doesn't get to also have a scar on his forehead that hasn't been shown yet in the past, so. Maybe Toji will give it to him soon? I don't know. Yeah, he, he, he kind of let us go off easy. Oh, just in case. Shit just like, could explode. He's thinking like 10 steps ahead. Bro, he's down. Stop it. <laughs> a monkey like I... This, 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 this is not a monkey, it's a fucking silverback gorilla, bro. What was that face? <laughs> his son, he's just realizing what his name is. <laughs> At least he knows that he has a son. Hmm. What is this light? This heavenly light? Uh, is Gojo descending from the heavens? Uh, no! Why are you here? <gasps> Look at this! Why? How? Bro! Heavenly light showed up!
And he just descends? How? Reverse curse tech, reverse curse. Isn't that what Shoko was saying? Uh huh. So, remember, high school math, negative times negative equals positive? Therefore, Gojo's alive. <laughs> I don't fucking know, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. He's high. Did he see God or something? <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's right. Remember what Thanos said? You should have gone for the head. Round two, let's go! But Gojo's gonna be totally different now, right? You don't have all the prep time. Look, he's insane now! I have a feeling it's gonna go totally different. Last time it only worked because Toji has so much prep time. He's used all his cards. Red. Oh! That was a tiny orb too. Get up, bro. Come on. Fight back. Fight back. <laughs> <laughs> he's just floating around. He's having so much fun. Bro, he's actually high. He's got so much euphoria. Uh-huh. And now to repel. Oh, blue is... Okay, and then, then red now. Repel is red. Okay, okay, okay. That makes a lot more sense. I never knew what these colors, you know, powers were in season one. Thank you for explaining it to me. But like, in season one, he used red and blue together, right? <laughs> he doesn't even care. You're welcome. Yo, I, I feel like Toji's gonna lose. No. This is some actual godly being now. <laughs> he's not even, he's not even trying. Look at this distant look. He's like, oh, the sky is so beautiful. Bro, this is some Vin Saga shit. I have no enemies. <laughs> Bro has no enemies. It's like he's understanding the fundamentals of life, like the meaning of life itself. He discovered this. <laughs> like he's in the middle of a battle right now, but it's just pure euphoria. Actual God. What a lie. He is him. Is there a secret that he's hiding? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you have now? What, do you, what else do you have? Red and blue mixing like in season one. Purple. I don't fucking know. It's sick though. Attraction and repel combined into one. Bro is dead. Goodbye. This is the flashback. <laughs> He's having his entire life is flashing. Maybe we'll see Megumi here. Yo, who is his wife? Oh, I think that's his blood. Oh, no. uh, that's a lethal. That's a lethal hit, right? <laughs> that's a lethal hit, right? Man, he was so sick. I really liked him as a character, but is he really? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I was like, what I'm fucking missing? Where the fuck is my body? Mom. Who is the wife? Megumi and mom but, hmm. Tell Megumi that I loved him <laughs> hey, He's kind of thinking about him though Take care of my kid I'm not coming back from buying smokes Oh, oh. He did care about his son till the end. No, no. This is his dying thought. He did care about him, even though he, he didn't even remember what his name was in this, until this episode. Salute to Toji Fushiguro. He was sick. This guy, he was sick. Even though it was only a couple episodes. God damn, he was sick. post credit scene. Get to end. That Fushiguro's uh, thing. No, it's daddy. Get to the left of him. His eyes look disturbed. This is pathway to Tengen Sama? What's going on? Claps. What the? Congratulations! Oh, Goju retrieving Rico. This is. I'm confused. What's. We're doing the assimilation? This is a cult? Yeah. 
He's achieved godhood. Alright, Shoko can heal, right, right, right. You're scaring me, bro. This is power tripping to the next level, right? But they, they are the cult members. So we can you, we can purge them? What, what, what are we going to do? Is this the beginning of how they start to hate each other? I don't know. Something feels very odd, right? Yeah, too. Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? Is this where he begins to see them all as monkeys? Papa Fushiguro, amazing villain. At the end, he did think about Megumi. Although, he didn't say, I love you. He kind of pretty much implied, hey, Go Go Gojo, like, come on, take care of my kid, will you? I think he was an amazing villain. Gojo, he achieved godhood. I think he's fundamentally changed in this episode. We know in season one in the movie, he's pretty much like toned down. He knows how to control it. But right now, the way he said, hey, we want to just kill him. This shit's actually giving me goosebumps. Like, this is actually so terrifying. Because who can oppose Gojo? He is pretty much God right now. Who can control him? Could you imagine if Gojo went rogue and decided, fuck the world, I'm just going to destroy everybody? Like, and at the end there, Geto, was he planning to kill him instead? Because we know, like, right now, Gojo and Geto, they're pretty much still best friends. But later on, they start to drift apart. Something about their ideals start to clash. And in fact, their ideals swap. Geto is the one saying, we need to protect the weak. And Gojo's like, nah, fuck him. But later on, we know that's a complete swap. Yo, things are getting so interesting. Even though this is probably one of the most hyped episodes of the arc so far, I feel like we've got a little bit more left until we go into the Shibuya incident or something. I think so. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other pillars for even more content. And until next time, take care.